Hey guys, it's Rob Nolan here in the kitchen in Amsterdam and in this video, in this live video, um, you're going to learn six ways to play the minor swing chord changes, all right? Six ways and this kind of thing, okay? This will be one of the ways. Stick around. This is going to be a great show and also we've got some really exciting news about Bali. If you want to join me in one of the most exotic places, beautiful places on the planet and play guitar, then keep watching. Um, this kind of thing. <laughs> So anyway, that's just one of the ways you can play rhythm over minor swing. And uh, welcome, welcome to the live show. My name's, if you don't know me, my name's Robin Nolan. And uh, I'm a gypsy, by the way, I've got a really bad cough at the moment. So if I start <coughs> coughing, then just, just uh, ignore it. <coughs> I picked it up in the plane on the way back from Brazil. And uh, my name's Robin Nolan. I'm a gypsy jazz guitarist. And it's my mission to take the headache and confusion out of this music and let people who come from any background of playing music to enjoy Django's legacy in a really fun way, okay? So uh, it's my mission to help you put some gypsy jazz into your playing and to inspire you. So welcome to the show. And in this show, I'm gonna teach you six ways to play the rhythm chords for minor swing. And minor swing, if you don't know minor swing, this is the, this is like a This is like the stairway to heaven of gypsy jazz, you know. You go to any guitar shop, you hear stairway to heaven. You go to any gypsy jazz festival or gig, um, you can guarantee you're going to hear... You can hear this tune. Minor swing, okay? So it's uh, it's the classic from the Hot Club de France. Uh, Django Reinhardt, Stefan Grappelli. It's really cool, it's really easy. And in this lesson, I'm just focusing on the chord changes to minor swing, all right? So stick around, I'm gonna teach you six ways to play through the chord changes, okay? And this is the kind of teaching that I'm gonna be doing um, in my retreats, and we I'm so excited. We just announced the Bali Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreat, and if you're ready for a trip of a lifetime in one of the most beautiful exotic locations on the planet, then keep watching, because I'm gonna give you all the scoop on Bali, what's gonna be going on, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you from something. Because when I do these retreats, I've got this system, right? These five pillars of teaching gypsy jazz. And number one pillar is rhythm. It's the most important thing, okay? So um, that's what we do. The first thing we're going to do in Bali is a whole session dedicated to rhythm. And this lesson is just one little bit of that kind of way of teaching, okay? So uh, let me get straight to it. Minor swing. Look, here's the chord changes. I wrote them out really professionally. And you can see this chord change, this chart is really easy. You just got A minor, two bars, D minor, two bars, E7, two bars, basically A minor, two bars. Send the love, guys uh, and girls. And then D minor, two bars, A minor, two bars, then basically E7, two bars, and back to A minor. So it's a six, I'll show you that in a minute. It's a 16-bar progression, really easy. And what I do when I teach, um, by the way, if you're joining this uh live show. I'm in Amsterdam, back in the kitchen. And wherever you're watching from, hello and Nick, there's people watching from all over the world, which is always so exciting. Type in where you're watching from. And if you've got any questions about this or about Bali, then just type away. I'm going to answer every single question after the show, okay? Uh, Robin, I love you. Wow, you are beautiful. What? You have such a dynamic and touch for music. Is it really soulful? Very special indeed. Much love from Plymouth, Massachusetts. Um, Jason, that means a lot. That keeps me going. Thanks so much, brother. Um, it's my mission. It's just what I, I get up every day and this is what I like to do. So uh, if you're watching, guys, don't be afraid. Click that heart button, guys and girls, and that keeps me inspired to do this. So minor swing chord changes. What I do, forget about all the fancy stuff. What I do first when we learn any tune at the Breakthrough Retreat, we go down this end of the neck. Okay, camp fly, campfire chords. Number one way to play minor swing chords or any chords is the chords down the bottom of the neck. So there's the chart, okay? We're looking for an A minor, we're looking for a D minor, and we're looking for an E7, basically, okay? 
we'll get to the more fancy ways in a minute. So A minor, always good to know you've got that A minor down the bottom of the neck. And if you just put the pinky there, you kind of get the A minor six. Okay, great, A minor. La Chodivas Carlos, welcome. A minor, people joining from all around the world. D minor down the bottom, we probably know that. Okay, but if you know that one, then try this one. That's the F in the bass, that's D minor. Welcome everybody. Um, this is so cool, welcome. There's D minor, welcome Kevin in Melbourne. Not in the bath or in bed. Cool man, not every day's like that. There's D minor, A minor. Looking at the campfire chords for minor swing first. This is number one way of playing the chords. Okay, strip it down to the basics. I do this with every tune when I'm teaching. Okay, A minor, add the six. That's cool. D minor. Okay, there's a nice one with the F in the bass. Okay, D minor, E7, we got it easy down the bottom there. Okay, welcome Daniela, welcome everybody. There's E7. Welcome from Calcutta, amazing. Welcome guys, people from all over the world. There's E7, okay. There's A minor. Okay, so remember in that chart, we're looking for an A minor, a D minor, an E7 down the bottom end of the neck. This is number one way, okay? And you do this for any standard, you know, for all of me, you do the same. All of me, all of me. And it really opens up and gives you chord, your rhythm playing, it gives it more perspective, okay? So we've got an A minor, easy. Add the six, send the love guys and girls. Uh, D minor, there's the D minor, that works nice. E7, okay, that's really easy. Then A minor. Okay, so going through the sequence for minor swing, which is really easy. Remember, it's just that 16, oh, it's, <laughs> it's just that 16 bar sequence. Uh, there it is, okay? So I'll play it using campfire chords. This is method number one. And this is, don't, don't laugh at this, this is always good to know. And sometimes I might accompany someone in this way, kind of. Just simply. This is minor swing. Looking for campfire chords, easy. A minor, D minor, we use that D minor, E7, okay? A couple of other chords. We can see in this chart that in bar eight, look at upside down. We can see that it goes to A7 there. And also we see a B flat there. So the A7 comes here. So, so you got A minor, D minor, E7. Hi guys, from Crete, A7. Okay, so just play an A down the bottom of the neck. D minor, A minor, B flat. Okay, just a B flat major chord. There's B flat, then. Okay, B flat on the first fret. Right, it's gonna sound great. Welcome Eugene, welcome everybody. Bounce E7. So in this lesson, I'm teaching you six ways to play minor swing rhythm, okay? Because it's when you, when you learn a piece, it's not good just to only learn one set of chord changes. There's always so many, and I'm trying to learn them all the time, you know, there's always another way to do it. And when you learn the more ways, the more inversions, the more chords, when you play rhythm, it's gonna sound a hell of a lot more rich and beautiful, okay? And that's my mission, to help you do this. Um, so, number one, campfire chords. You play it something like this for minor swing. <laughs> minor, E7, A minor, A7, D minor, A minor, B flat, E7. Okay, so that's way number one. By the way, welcome guys and girls, Robin Nolan here. Mission, very simple, to help you get some gypsy jazz in your guitar playing wherever you're coming from. If you're playing jazz or heavy metal or classical, it doesn't matter. Welcome, it's my mission to inspire you to play, okay? And that's what I do every day. And in this lesson, I'm teaching you six ways to play rhythm chords over minor swing, which maybe you haven't thought of. And minor swing is the stairway to heaven. It's the stairway to heaven of gypsy jazz. Um, I'm also gonna be telling you about the Bali retreat. It's ridiculously exotic. And uh, I do these breakthrough retreats in really cool spots around the, the globe. And we've got one coming up in Amsterdam in January, which is going to be awesome. Uh, it's practically sold out. 
but we've just announced Bali, okay? And if you want to come and, and learn, play guitar in one of the most tropical, beautiful, unbelievable situations in the world, then check out the link in the description of this video. It says Gypsy Jazz World Passport. Join me in Bali, Bali, Indonesia. It's a most gorgeous, high-end luxury hotel with a swimming pool and spa treatments. We're going to be playing guitar in that kind of city. Go and check out the website. And uh, if you think about coming, guys in Europe, get some winter sun. Guys in Australia, it's not far for you. Then join me in Bali. I'm going to be teaching you all the cool things with Gypsy Jazz without the headache, okay? And uh, yeah, this lesson, get back to it. Six ways to play uh, chords, the rhythm to minor swing, which maybe you haven't thought of. Way number one was just the campfire chords, just again, minor swing. A minor, D minor, A minor, B flat, A. Okay, so that's way number one. And when I teach live, I do that for every tune. So I would do the same thing for all of me. You know, you know instead of learning the fancy chords or whatever straight away, strip it back to the bar, to the open chord, which is always good to know down the bottom of the neck, because maybe you're in a situation where you're accompanying and the open chords sound better, all of me, E7. So always good to keep, bear in mind those nice open voicings. Okay, minor swing, way number two. This is a, especially good if you're a beginner. You can use this one shape for the whole of minor swing, okay? And remember, there's the chart, okay? We've got minor swing there, A minor, two bars, D minor, two bars, E7, two bars, A minor, two bars with a little A7, D minor, two bars, A minor, two bars, basically E7, two bars with a little B flat there, then back to A minor, okay? So you can play all that just with one shape, and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's, this is way number two, okay? So you can go A minor, D minor, E7, same shape, A minor, fifth fret, tenth fret, nothing wrong with this, fifth fret, seventh fret, and then back. And that chord can cover the A minor, the D minor, and the E7. And if you're starting out with Gypsy Jazz guitar, this is the, the best chord to learn at first, right? A, F sharp and C, fifth fret on the bottom E, fourth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string, just those three, three notes. And that's A minor six, 10th fret, D minor six, E seven, you just play the same thing on the, on the seventh fret, which is really useful. And you, so then you can play the whole sequence of minor swing using one chord, okay? So that's two ways, you've got the campfire, okay, open chords, way number one. Guys, if you're watching this and if you're liking this kind of thing, click the love heart. It really keeps me going here in the kitchen. Uh, it inspires me to carry on doing this and um, I love to know where you're watching from as well. Okay, so type in, say hi and uh, thanks for the love guys. It really means a lot. And uh, so that was way number one. Okay, campfire chords. I do the same with every tune. Way number two, look at the simple chord changes. Okay, we can use that one shape. A minor, D minor, Okay, E7, A minor, D minor, this is good for beginners, A minor, E7, thanks for the love. Okay, just using that one shape. Okay, way number three, this is where we add a couple of extra chords in, okay? So remember that chart? You've got the A minor, A minor, D minor, D minor, E7, E7, then A minor, A7, okay? Um, make sure you get that A7 in because it leads nicely to the D minor. Then you've got D minor, two bars, A minor, two bars. Then you've got this B flat. See that B flat? That sounds cool, but before the E7, going back to A minor. I hope you like that chart. So if we're going to use um, some medium kind of level chords, we might use A minor here. It's just minor swing. D minor. Okay, there's the root. Thanks, Eugene. Love the campfire chords. You've got to love the campfire chords. Uh, thanks for the love, guys. There's D minor. We're playing D in the root there. We got, we got. Okay, there's a nice crunchy D minor six voicing we use in this music. So maybe you don't know that one, but. Okay, so A minor, two bars. D minor, easy. E7. Then we've got 
A minor, then a quick A7. Okay, that is really nice. If you're not putting that A7 in, in bar seven, then you should, because it really makes it, enriches the harmony. It makes the soloist, you know, kind of more to bite into there. A7 in bar seven. Then you've got D minor. Welcome everybody. A minor. Then before the E7, you can just put a bar chord, B flat, to E7, okay? You can use B flat here. Okay, so you got that B flat before the E7. You got the A7 before the D minor. Remember, again, there's the chart. It kind of helps to look at the chart. Two bars of A minor, two bars of D minor, two bars of E7, then A minor, then A7. That's really cool, put that in. D minor two bars, A minor two bars, then that B flat, that's what we're just doing in this way, number three, E7 and A minor. So, so that kind of way you'd have, you'd have number three would be this kind of way, so changes to minor swings. So, D minor, E7, A minor, there's the A7, D minor, A minor, B flat, Okay, so there's the num way number three. That's where you add in the A7. <coughs> Excuse the cough. That's where you add in the A7 and you also add in the B flat in there. So let's recap so far. In this video, uh, make sure you stick around because I'm teaching you six ways to play rhythm for minor swing, okay? And I do this for every song. Look at every possibility. Possibility number one is down this end of the neck, campfire chords. We would play it like this. A minor, D minor. E7, A minor, A7, D minor, A minor, B flat, A7, A, I can't talk and play at the same time, but A minor, yeah, D minor, E7, another way, that's nice to do that on the E7, okay, see that on the fourth fret, okay, so campfire chords, Sounds great, just that raw B flat major chord there. Okay, so that's way number one, okay, for playing rhythm over minor swing. And sometimes that sounds great. Um, number two, I taught you just that simple, if you're just starting out with Gypsy Jazz, that simple chord voicing, which covers you for A minor, D minor, and E7. So A minor, fifth fret, D minor on the tenth fret, same inversion, three notes. E7 on the seventh fret. So it's a sound boom. Very simple. D minor. E7. Very simple. A minor. D minor. Welcome everybody. A minor. Uh, E7. Just keeping that, doing the sequence, doing that sequence, just keeping that one chord voice. And so that's really handy, especially good for beginners. Way number three, we introduce the A7 and we introduce the B flat. Okay, and we use, introduce the D minor, played it here, okay? Right, so then we played D minor, E7, A minor, A7, D minor, A minor, B flat, E7, okay? So that's number three, that's number three uh, uh, <coughs> way to play minor swing changes. I'm gonna teach you six in this lesson. And this is the way I teach. I like to break things down into little boxes and little bite-sized little bits which help people understand it, including myself. You know, it's like there's a lot of stuff to learn here. So thanks for all the love, guys. Click that love button and type in where you watch from. People watching in Turkey, in Crete. Um, some guy's angry, but that's cool. Um, just type in how you're feeling. And if you've got your guitar, pick it up. My name is Robin Nolan, if you don't know. And it's my mission to help guys and girls have fun with this music, all right? That's number one. Actually have fun playing gypsy jazz and kind of take the confusion and headache out of this music, which can be really complicated and scary. But I like to teach you in a way which is fun and actually gets results. And I'm teaching you six ways to play over minor swing changes in this video. And also, if you like this way of teaching and you want to have an experience of a lifetime, then in the link to this, or in the description of this video, you'll see Join me in Bali. Welcome, uh, welcome, Ireland.
If you fancy having uh, the trip of a lifetime in Bali in an amazing, beautiful hotel in the forest with swimming pools and spas and incredible food and a really beautiful, really harmonious vibe in an absolutely gorgeous place on the earth, Bali, then come and join me in Bali and bring your guitar. It's going to be four days and four nights, tw uh, February 28th to March the 4th. It's the Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreat in Bali, okay? So if you fancy coming down there, there's room for 20 guys or girls, and already three spaces have gone. Uh, welcome, Henry. Well, Henry Acker, by the way, you've got to check this guy out. Henry Acker is one of the best up-and-coming players I've ever seen. and He's absolutely brilliant. He's from America. So Gypsy Jazz all around the world. Um, come to Bali. Click on that link, Gypsy Jazz uh, World Passport. You get the full scoop. And um, so now we're on number four, okay? This is ways of playing minor swing changes. There's not only one, there's infinite. And I like to try and break them down and teach each one separately. So just to recap, we had Campfire Way. Just minor swing. Okay, just using the open chord. A minor, D minor, D7. Okay, these can sound great when you're a company. You don't have to always play up here. A7, okay, that's nice. D minor, that's always a good, if you don't know that one, that's always a really nice one. D minor, A minor, then B flat. That's really raw, but it really sounds great before the E7. Way number two is for beginners, really easy. Just take that one chord. This is the one chord to learn. We can use that for A minor. Tenth fret, we can use it for D minor. Seventh fret, we can use it for E7. Fifth fret for A minor, okay? So we got all the bases covered just using that one chord. Way number three, we introduce the A7, okay? Which is really important. And also the B flat, whichever way you want to play it, before the E7. Then it kind of sounded A minor. D minor, E7, I'm just playing quietly here, A minor, then A7, D minor, put the A7, A minor, B flat, E7 before this, so put that B flat in, okay, that is really nice, and it's great for soloists, it gives it more, more juice really, just like the A7, all right, there's three ways, number four, here we go, Guys, girls, if you're watching from around the world, type where you're watching from. Any question, then type it in. After this lesson, I'm going to get in and answer everyone, okay? And send the love. It really inspires me. I'm in the kitchen here in Amsterdam, and it's my mission to help guys and girls get a taste of gypsy jazz in their playing and do it their own way, okay? There's not a set way. This is not gospel. This is not... You know, this is just how I learned it. And I'm just a guy from England who was brought up with the Beatles and the Stones and who loves blues and heavy metal and all sorts of stuff. But I've made this music my life and I do it in my own way. And that's what I encourage you to do as well, all right? So don't get freaked out. Just start learning this stuff and do it in your own way. Um, so we're looking at ways to play over minor swing. Um, number four. This is a really nice thing to do between... You can see, look, here's my professional uh, chord chart here. A minor two bars, D minor two bars, E7 two bars. Then you've got that A minor, A7. In those two bars, you can do a walk up, right? You can do this thing where you go. So connecting A minor there to D minor there, you can do a bass line. Okay, that's pretty simple. So five, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the chords. Same chord, same chord, then do this chord, okay, C, A, and E, and then, okay, that connects the A minor to the D minor, and that's really kind of, gives a bit of movement to the piece, you know, instead of just going, you go, you know, it gives a nice movement. It, way number six, by the way, is where I teach you walk and bass line, so stick around for that. Um, so we're going to do that walk up, and we're also going to look at these changes, which we call autumn leave changes. Um, you get to the D minor, then you're going to go G7, C major 7, F major 7, B half diminished, E7. Okay, 
so those chords, D minor 7, G7, this comes in handy. C major 7, F major 7, B half diminished, back to the E7, A minor, okay? So in context of the piece, then you'd play it like this, kind of like A minor, D minor, E7, now do the walk up. see where the autumn leave changes came in and that's just D minor 7, G7, C major 7, F major 7 and there's lots of ways you can even play those you can go like so that instead of go which makes it a bit crunchier than C okay so even that D minor 7 let's check that out just on the A string there you got Always sounds good for G7, really crunchy. Then, okay. So this is uh, this is way number four of playing rhythm for minor swing. I haven't got all day sitting here, so I'm just teaching you kind of quickly the way I teach at a retreat, which is really luxurious. But here I'm just giving you a little taste, a little bite-sized lesson. Um, welcome everybody. Welcome from Australia. Good on you, mate. Ingo Evans. Welcome. Come to Bali. Bali's just been opened. We, we've opened registration. We've got three sign-ups already. Three guys are bringing their wives. And there's a partner package. And it's we've got an incredible hotel on the beautiful island of Bali. If you want to get away from it all. Um, and come, come and study with me and some cool guys. And jam sessions, amazing food, spa treatments. Then come to Bali, all right? The, the link for, this, for all this is in the description of this video. Okay? So I'm really excited about that. It's happening February 28th to March the 4th, Bali. Um, thanks for all the comments, guys. Um, so we had way number four. Now here's a, a nice thing. This is number five. This is a hip way you can get to that. Remember I told you about the A7? Look, A minor, D minor, E7. And this bit here, where you've got A minor to A7, you can do this nice minor two fives. You can go E half diminished, a7 there so e half diminished a7 okay so that that would sound like this so it could be like a minor a minor d d minor e7 now this okay so that that really opens it up for the soloist it gives them much more juice to kind of latch onto and make some really cool lines with that so this is doing a two five minor two five one going into d minor E half diminished, A7, then to your D minor, okay? So in context, A minor, minor swing, D minor, E7, now you put a two foot. Okay? And another way to play that minor two five one, this is really cool. Instead of the half diminished, the E half diminished there, A7, you can go, okay? This chord, sixth fret on the bottom E string, 5th fret on a D string, 7th fret on a G string, okay, and then that goes to A7, okay, okay, so you're going A minor, D minor, E7, just imagine it swinging, now you go, then you go to D minor, that's a really cool way, uh, and that's basically playing that, the E half diminished to A7, thanks for the love guys to the D minor, but you can do it here with, okay, that's really cool, okay, so that's way number five, welcome everybody, if you're just joining, it's Robin Nolan here, my mission, to take the headache out of gypsy jazz, teach it in a fun way, and uh, help guys and girls from all around the planet to have fun with this music, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what we, isn't that what we want to do? <coughs> I've got a bit of a cough here. I picked it up in the plane just back from Brazil, which was awesome. And there's amazing players all over the world now. And it's my mission to uh, help everyone, keep everyone inspired. And I do these breakthrough retreats, right? Which is where 20 guys and girls meet up in exotic, beautiful locations on the planet to get inspired and make breakthroughs in their playing. We've just opened up a new one in Bali, Indonesia, okay? And if you want to come to paradise, uh, the place where we're staying is unbelievable. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's in a tropical rainforest. 
we've got pools, we've got spas, we've got incredible food. It's an all-inclusive package. Click the link in the description of this video. Bring your wife, bring your partner. They're going to love it, okay? It's going to be Gypsy Jazz in the most exotic location on the planet. So that's the, uh, the link in the description. Click that for the whole scoop. And um, Jason is saying, while you're answering curiosities, I'd also love to know about that monkey underneath your clock that I'm always seeing. It looks like that monkey under the clock, I think it was painted by my daughter, Isabel, years ago. I think she, she bought it back from like play school. And uh, I think it's meant to be me. I, I'm not sure about that. But anyway, you know, everything she does, I love it. So that's the story with the monkey. And uh, anyway, uh, right now, so recap, we're looking at six ways because there's always multiple ways to play rhythm on these chord changes, okay? So you don't just learn one set of changes and always play the same chords. Learn as many things as you can. And then when you actually play live, you've got a deeper resource, a richer resource to choose from when you're accompanying and it just makes the music richer. And that's what we want to do, right? So number one, campfire chords. <laughs> every standard look at the campfire chords down the bottom of the neck and realize that there's always juicy chords down there so minor swing D minor A7 A minor D minor A minor okay so there's ways down the bottom of the neck which can make your rhythm and accompanying sound great that's way number one number two the simple way using the really easy chord inversion there, which covers A minor, which covers D minor on the 10th fret and E7 on the 7th fret, okay? So if you're a beginner to this music, this chord can really come in handy. Uh, way number three, we introduced A7, okay, in bar seven, and also we introduced B flat. So then we went A minor, okay? Just imagine I'm playing swing, D minor, E7, a minor, A7, okay, really important that chord. D minor, two bars, A minor, two bars. Now B flat before the E7, okay? That's what we did in number three. We introduced the B flat and A7. Number four, we looked at the walk up and the autumn leaves changes. <coughs> A lot of stuff here. Um, so the walk up connected the A minor to the D minor just by going. Okay, that's a really cool way to connect the two chords. You've got A minor and you've got D minor. You can connect them with this bass line. Okay, and that makes it really sound cool. The other way we looked at was to use the autumn leaf changes. Okay, so that way, uh, welcome everybody. Welcome Jose from Brazil. Send the love, guys. Um, this way of playing minor swing, we just went A minor, okay? D minor, E7. Now we're gonna do the walk up. Autumn leaves, G7, C major seven, F major seven, B half diminished, E7, and then back home. So what I'm trying to get at is there's multiple ways to play the chords to any tune. There's not only one way, okay? And that's good for us all to remember because sometimes we always seem to play the same chords when we play that tune and you don't have to. You can make the music much richer and much more beautiful by varying the way you play the rhythm, okay? This is the way I teach at the Breakthrough Retreats, okay? In luxury, one-to-one, -one, okay? I can actually show you with my hands, put your fingers right. Plus, we can just jump in the swimming pool when it gets too hot, okay? Come to Bali. Bali's going to be incredible, guys. Click the link in the description. All right. Now, uh, the next way we look to introducing that hip 2-5, okay? Because we said we got A minor, two bars. D minor, two bars. E7, two bars. Here, we put the minor 5 to t minor 5 to one minor 2 5 one, E half diminished, A7. Then to D minor, okay? E half diminished, A7. This sounds like this. So, minor swing... Same old, same old, here we go. Okay, and that really opens it up for the soloist. Another way to do that same progression instead of was this is using three note voicings. Okay, 
that's the two, minor 2-5 to the A7. So that sounds like a... this. Okay, you can hear that in action, sounds great. That's number five. Okay, the last way, which I'm gonna show you in this video, um, is using a, a walk-in bass line. And this sounds really, really cool, especially when you're playing in a duo format, so, or when there's no bass player. Okay, so when there's no bass player, you can do this kind of thing. So. This kind of thing. Kind of sounds like what the hell is that but <clears throat> there's a way to do it so you start off here okay then you go okay that's down to the D minor and this is all about the right hand playing that bass line so just using those chords You probably need to work on that one a bit, but just take it slow <coughs> and look for those connecting lines. Um, you can do it really slow, like. Okay, that's way number six. Now, um, yeah, I know it's not, but. You know what, just start somewhere. Start just with the first two changes. If that's all complicated, then just go. Okay, and practice that a thousand times. That's the first two chords covered, all right? So. Just take it bit by bit. That's what I always teach. Do it in tiny little chunks, okay? Um, Paul, I hope that helps you, mate. Uh, welcome, Umberto, people watching from all over the world. I'm in Amsterdam, and uh, I'm teaching you six ways to play the rhythm on minor swing, okay? Number one, campfire chords, okay? Simple, just down this end of the neck. Minor swing. That's number one, campfire chords. There's always chords down the bottom of the neck, which can sound cool. Number two, very easy, okay? Just the one shape. A minor, D minor, E7. Easy, easy peasy. Look, there's the chord changes. That same shape covers you for all those changes, okay? <coughs> number three, introduce the A7, and introduce the B flat. So A7, so A minor, A minor, A minor, A minor, D minor, D minor, E7, A minor, A7, okay? That is great, because soloists love that. When the rhythm plays that, then it gives them more juice, more things to, to bite into, okay? Um, that is way, that was number three. Then the number four, we looked at the walk up, so. To connect the A minor and D minor, okay? And we also looked at the. E half diminished, A7 to the A minor. So we got A minor, A minor, minor swing, D minor, E7, walk up. Oh no, sorry, A minor. This is the other one, D minor, E7, then this. That's beautiful. That really gets into the D minor really nicely. Practice that. Thanks for the love, guys. Um, this is cool, this is really cool. We're live on the internet here. I'm in Amsterdam, my kitchen, 
and uh, that was number five, introducing the minor two five. Number six was using the walk-in bass line, which can sound really cool. Minor swing. an accent that's not e7 this is e7 actually that's a pretty sound funny funky sounding chord anyway forget that um recap okay what this lesson has been all about if you've just joined now then you can rewind uh when i get off in a minute and enjoy this whole lesson and i've been teaching six ways because there's always multiple six ways to play the chord changes for minor swing okay to play these chords in lots of different ways and uh, the reason being that when you're accompanying someone, you shouldn't always just play the same chord shapes. There's always nice ways to make it more interesting, richer, more beautiful. And that's what we want to do with music, make it more beautiful. OK, and lots of ways to do that. So way number one, uh, strip it back. Look at the simple chords down the bottom of the neck, campfire chords. Way number two, look at the simplest tra changes using that shape for minor swing. A minor, D minor, E7. Number three, add some nice uh, harmonies. So we added the A7 before the D minor, and we added the B flat before the E7, okay? And uh, that was number three. Number four, we did the walk up. So this connects the two chords. So A minor, D minor, we can go. Okay, and we also uh, did the walk up and also the autumn leaves, D minor seven. G7. Okay, number five, we looked at that minor two five one going into the D minor, okay? And we also looked at this way into the D minor, okay? And number six, we did walk in bass line. This kind of thing. That's, that's enough for me. Um, there's uh, loads to kind of get on with there. And this is the kind of teaching that I do um, when I teach in person at the breakthrough retreats. I strip everything back. And actually the first pillar, the first workshop we do in all these breakthrough retreats um, is rhythm, okay? And we look at obviously all the rhythms and the swing and the, the bolero and the bossa and the right hand technique and the left hand technique. But we also look at songs like this, Minor Swing, break it down. How do you play the chords? How do you enrich the chords? So I basically start everything from scratch. So if you wanna, if you wanna learn Gypsy Jazz the fun way in paradise, then come to Bali. Come and join me in one of the most beautiful locations on the planet. Bring your guitar. And I've uh, booked out this incredibly beautiful hotel on the island. And uh, there's a pool and the spa treatments, there's fruit and mango, and it's just going to be gorgeous. OK, it's an all inclusive package and um, you're going to love it. OK, so the link is in the description of this video. Click it, uh, Gypsy Jazz World Passport and come to Bali or check it out. And um, thanks for watching the video. Um, and like always, stay inspired, okay? Play Gypsy Jazz in your own way. Don't worry about how I'm playing it or how other people are playing it. Do it yourself. And if you got something weird in your style, then don't throw it away. Keep it. Okay? Keep it. And uh, that's how I've done my career. I've just kind of played Gypsy Jazz in my own way. And I grew up with the Beatles and the Stones. And I love that music. But I love this too. And this is my life. And it's my life inspiring people and helping guys and girls all around the planet to have fun with Gypsy Jazz. So thanks for watching this video. I'm going to sign out now. Click the, click the uh, link in the description there. Get the scoop on Bali. 
And if you've got any questions about Bali or about this lesson, then write them in, type them in. I'm going to get on and answer everybody after this session, okay? Thanks for watching, Wayne. Thanks for watching everyone from all around the world. It's been really, really cool. I love doing this. And this is the bit where I... This is the bit where I try and press the finish button and I think I've finished, but I'm actually still here. So, um, guys, lots of love. Lots of love from Amsterdam. Click the link. See you soon.